Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. Wanted to provide a quick tour of the Econo Lodge on the river in Gatlinburg. So I just got here. I just got everything. Um, just got in the room, haven't even brought anything in, and I wanted to provide a quick tour. Uh, so first of all, and I'll post some other videos, the location of this is incredible. It's a few hundred yards walk from uh, from the Peddler Steakhouse. It's just right, it's on the road parallel to the main strip in Gatlinburg where all the shops are. So that's a, that's a few, maybe a hundred yards or so away. So everything is very accessible. And the value add of this location, especially if you're here for backcountry adventures in the national park, this is at the end of the strip closest to the national park. And the road this is on, River Road, actually runs parallel to the main road in Gatlinburg. And the main road in Gatlinburg can become busy with tourists and all that. So it's nice to be able to go directly from here to the park and bypass all the traffic in town. As far as the beds are concerned, this is how they were presented when I got in. Um, I don't have any sort of test kit for cleanliness or whatever, but the pillows feel nice. They look clean. Um, it The room doesn't smell bad. It's It's got a pleasing uh, fragrance to it. I mean, the, the people at the front, the well, the person at the front desk was super nice. Now, I am on the ground level. I got the cheapest room. I don't have a river view. And you can get a river view. Um, but I didn't want to. I wanted to, you know, this is my base camp. I'm here to sleep when I'm not in the wilderness. So those little curtains they pulled together, it's blocked out all the light and blocked out anybody that might walk by my room and stare at me while I'm sleeping. So yeah, and I got I got a room with uh with two queen size beds because throughout the week I've got uh backcountry adventurers joining. So they'll have a they'll have a bed to sleep in. So, uh, but I'm going to take this bed over here. Yeah. No complaints with the bed. I mean, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's got sheets. It's got a sheet. It's got a blanket, kind of a little fuzzy type feel to it. Sheet. I don't see any bugs. I mean, there shouldn't be bugs, but you know, always check it out. Ample amount of power ports here. Let's see what we got. We got a USB alpha standard USB and uh, and some a couple power plugs for your laptop and your your phone this is what's really nice you got a microwave and a mini fridge but it's not so miniature look at that so I can go and what I should have done is brought and I brought a little bit of stuff from home to save money but I should have brought more because I can stock this sucker up uh, but again I'm here for backcountry adventures so, you know, your use case for the room may be different. You may spend more time in the room. And again, if you plan to spend more time in the room, I would encourage you to check out a room with a river view. I just got the parking lot. Uh, and I'll we'll go back to the parking lot when we end this review. But, uh, yeah, I got coffee maker right here. I never use coffee makers in hotels. Motels. I think this is a two-star motel. Um but I, even in a five-star Four Seasons or something, I would not use an in-room coffee thing because I know from experience what has happened with those things <laughs> during uh, during college trips and all of that. So we do have an ice bucket with a bag to line it. I am going to take advantage of that and get some ice. It says, thank you for staying with us. Your housekeeper has been Mike. We hope everything has been done to your satisfaction. Your housekeeper has tried hard to make your stay as pleasant as possible. This envelope has been provided. If you wish to leave something for housekeeper's effort, that's nice. Please come back and stay with us again soon. It has been our pleasure to have you as our guest. The management. I got you a little book right, or magazine right here. It says Gatlinburg. The mountains are calling. Yes, they are. Those bears and those cougars and everything. Got you a chair right here. If you want to sit down and do some business while you're here, you know, plug in your laptop. 
Now the chair's got some spills on it. Looks like somebody spilled some some mixed drinks or something on it. So they, yeah, they could have cleaned that. Nice chair though, not bad. The heating and cooling system is somewhat dated, but it is blowing hot air. Actually, it's blowing it a little bit too hot. I'm gonna turn it down there. 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Over here, you've got an iron and an ironing board. So, not that I need that. Hello, there I am. Uh, oh, got extra towels and washcloths in here. Look at that. You got some hangers if you wanna hang some stuff. There's a safe but I don't think the safe has a lock on it. Yeah, I don't think it does. I guess I could ask, but I don't have any valuables. Yeah, and then we go into the bathroom. They did furnish the conditioner, shampoo and lotion and soap. Bar soap. The toilet. Ooh, it's clean. Clean toilet, clean floor, clean shower. I brought my uh, I brought my flip flops just in case because you never know, you know you may have a dirty place. This is spotless, man. Look at that. They did a good job. Not only did they give me one roll of toilet paper, but they gave me two. So when I go number two and I run out of number one, I got a backup. That's nice. They got some Kleenexes in there. To blow your nose. Got a little rack right here for the towel. Obviously. <laughs> This place has been here for a while. There's a there's old uh, patch up job of the wall. I mean, this you know you, you're not gonna win any uh, if you if you're if you're doing uh, if you're staying here to you know maybe maybe you're not married yet or something and you're wanting to impress a girlfriend or whatever. This would not be the place. Even if, even if you got the uh, the room with the river view, I'm, I would. I would definitely upgrade from this, but I paid, and again, it's the middle of winter. It's uh, January at the time of filming this, and I paid a little over $30 U.S. a night um, for this room, so I was thrilled by the price point, but not just the price point, the location, because I'm exactly where I want to be, close as possible to the National Park, and that's where the outdoor store is too, right? In front of the Nat National P Park. And then also my favorite breakfast place, uh, Crockett's. It's just a few hundred yards walk from here. And if you want to do Ober Gatlinburg, the little tram thing that goes up the mountain, it's just right beside this, this motel. Again, I think this is a two-star motel. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna see the two-star two finishing touches. I mean, here on the wall, it's banged up. You know, right here, the baseboard's coming off. Um, I haven't noticed any bugs. Hopefully there aren't any bugs. You have a little painting or picture on the wall of, of a stream. If that's all you see when you come to Gatlinburg, I feel sorry for you. You need to get out there in that national park, see nature. Paint job, they could have done a better job making that straight. I mean, but see, this is where you get a discount. Headboard's sturdy. Yeah, yeah, This this is where you get a you get a good deal. So what are my thoughts about the Econo Lodge on the river? Again, this is a Econo Lodge on the river, but this is not a river view room. When we walk out here in a second, you'll see the parking lot again. So what are my thoughts? It's clean. It's nothing that's going to impress, but it does have a, not that I'm gonna watch TV, but it does have a TV. It's got a microwave. It's got uh, a big refrigerator. Um, it's got plenty of drawer space. That area looks clean. Um, it's got the Holy Bible. So this is the uh, place by the Gideons. So, yep, got that. Really everything you need. If you're an adventurer, definitely. Because I'm not here to get the views. I'm not here to see the little river out back. Let's see if we can see it through this window. No, <laughs> they've they blocked the view. So there's no no cheating and trying to get a, a a cheap view of the river out back. But no, I'll be out in the back country, man. I'm gonna be up close to 6,000 feet sleeping in a tent. So for base camp, this is great. 
the days that I'm not in the wilderness, I've got a perfect place to stay. I will test the internet. Hopefully the internet's of acceptable speed. We will find out, but let me show you again. The, so this, this is, and this is, uh, this is a room right here on the ground level. So see, there's the parking lot out there. So, you know, nothing, nothing to look at from the, from the ground level, but it's a good, uh, again, it's, it's good value. I, I like, I am thrilled that I decided to get this. And, you know, again, I shopped around and actually I booked through TripAdvisor and I ended up, as I mentioned earlier, spending a little bit over $30 US a night. <laughs> so yeah, this is well worth the $30 or a little bit over $30 US a night. Would I spend over $100 for this room? No. I mean, I would I would be looking at Hilton Garden Inn if I was getting in into the above $100 a night price point. And that's a great location too. It's just right down the street on River Road. But yeah, looks good. Tell me what you think within the comment section below and I hope this video helped. I did find a few videos reviewing this property, but I wanted to post my own. Thanks for your viewership and be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon. And if this video made you feel really good, send me a super thanks if you want to. You can look down below this video and there's a button that says thanks. You can choose to click that and send me a thanks. Tips are appreciated, but not required. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.